Hello, Daniel's here. Let's continue our work on the passenger submission form. Let's copy the Web 11 project and give it a new name, Web 12. There we go. Now let's right click, go to properties, search for web and web project settings, change the deployment URL to web 12 and okay okay there we go now we are ready to work on the new project and in order to see what i want to do let's actually start the project and then i want to show what the goal of this lesson is okay the project has been deployed so i'm going to open the browser and i'm going to go to localhost 8080 web 12 at passenger and i'm going to demonstrate the goal of this tutorial so here we have first name last name and date of birth let's say i type some wrong information here but those fields are correct let's say this is correct but then i have this wrong information here currently what happens is that all those fields will now be empty, right? So now, uh, even though the first name was correct and the last name was correct after the incorrect submission, all the fields are reset to empty. And let's correct that. Let's make sure that if this field was correct and not empty, even though an incorrect submission took place, after you submit, at least the value here will be saved so you will not have to type it again <laughs> so let's take care of that um okay so in order to to fix this issue on our web 12 project let's go to controllers add passenger well the first thing we want to do is in here this is our post method and we can set attributes as we can see we can set attributes on the request so if so let's set additional attributes with the values of the form as to were submitted so let's do request set attribute and set the the value of the first name as it was just submitted so first name and well in this case we determined that the length is zero we determined that the form that the first name length was zero so we just set well the, the request set attribute first name and we set it to an empty string huh? but here else the first name was correct and we set the first name as property of the passenger object, but let's also, in addition to setting the property on the passenger object, let's also set it as an attribute, first name, and then we put the value of first name. So now we have, we have the following scenario. We submit the form. If the first name was empty, the length is zero, we set the attribute first name on the request as an empty string. Alternatively, if the first name had a value, then we set the first name attribute on the request with the value of the first name. All right, so how do we leverage that in the JSP? Let's go to our JSP. So now we have in our first, let's actually kind of make it a little bit bigger and here too. Now this is our first name input field. If I put value, something this will be the default value of the field when the user sees the field that will be the default value now in java in jsp we've already seen these the way to 
inject a scriptlet by using this this syntax. Another way is if you want to print a dynamic content in our JSP, if you want to print dynamic content, you can do the same thing, but with an equality mark, an equality symbol, an equality symbol after the percent symbol, so like so. And here we can print request get attribute first name. This will actually partially work, but we will see that there is a wrinkle, a glitch that we'll still have to fix. So let's look at the result and we will see what the issue is. Okay, so let's go to add passenger again. There we go. And let me, uh, okay, so let's refresh it, I suppose. Okay, let's submit the form. So this is an empty form. That's fine. And then let's submit a value for the first name, Daniel. And I'm going to click add new passenger. There we go. So it did not quite get the value of the first name. Let's see why. Okay, here the problem is, okay. Sorry, the, uh, the I mistyped value. There we go, okay, value, okay. I apologize, I made it, I, I typed something, not value, I typed value incorrectly, so now I put value. Okay, so now we should be able to see the result correctly. Okay, sorry about that. And here is the run code. It starts off with no, because when we just go to the form, when, when we go to the form, the get attribute first name is null. Remember that when we go to the form, we have a get here, do get request here, and the request attribute first name was not set anywhere in the do get method. And as a result of that, we see null. So we'll have to fix that. But let's say I submit the form like so. Okay, that's fine. And let's say I'm, I submit the form with a name. There we go, it preserved the name. See, it preserved the name. So the only wrinkle here is that it starts off with a null. When we make a get request to add passenger, we see a null. The way to fix it, it would be to go to the do get method and do request set attribute and put first name. This is our attribute as an empty string. So when we hit the form, with a get request in the browser, oops, with a get request in the browser, sorry, I have to redeploy, uh, let's publish it again. And now when we hit the form with a get request in the browser, <laughs> there we go. We don't, see, we see an empty string because this request set attribute was set to an empty string and the value is this request get attribute first name and Indeed, we get an, an empty string. But when we make a post request, then if the val if we submit an empty string, that's fine. We set the attribute first name to an empty string. But if we submit a value for the first name, so the value the length is not zero, then we set an attribute first name with the value the user submitted. And then when we set the value the user submitted, assuming there is still an error in the in other parts of the form, we go to add passenger, we render the add passenger JSP, and in the add passenger JSP, the first name attribute is going to be gotten as we set it as we set it um, right here. As we set it right here, with the value of the first name the user submitted. So I submit nothing, I get an error, I submit something. Well, there are still other parts of the form with an error, but at least the first name is preserved. Okay, so let's now do it for the rest, for the last name and the date of birth. So I'm going to quickly, let's initialize 
to z to uh, an empty string. That way, again, when we first hit the form, before the form is submitted, just like going to the form, we will get, we want to set these attributes to an empty string, so we won't see a null, because otherwise, if they're not set to anything, and we print an attribute, it will be a print null. We just want to print an empty string, so we set it to an empty string initially. Then let's, uh, in the other fields, let's copy this value and in the last name also put the value but here of course the value should be the last name attribute which will be an empty string when we initially hit the form again a value um this is date of birth okay um and here okay so we we're good with that and here let's let's do the same thing if the length is and now when we submit the form if the user submitted an empty last name with the request on the submission request on the request associated with the form submission we're going to put last name as an empty string and if the user actually submitted the last name we're going to put the uh, the actual last name the user submitted. Same thing with you know with date of birth. Uh, if the so if the user submitted an actual date of birth, but it may still be invalid. So here here at this point the date of birth is invalid. We're going to just request set attribute and then we're going to just dob we're going to save the the value that the user submitted even though it was an inaccurate value here though here though uh the date of birth is correct the date of birth is correct and, and then we set the date of birth on the passenger object but let's say the date of birth is correct but the first name or last name are empty so even though the date of birth is correct, we still want to sub we still want to set a date of birth the a set date of birth so that when we return to the form we will see the date of birth the user submitted. So this is again in case for the first name or last name were empty. And we, even though the date of birth is correct, when we return to the form, we want this date of birth attribute to be present, so so that we will, so that we will see the date of birth that the user submitted, the correct date of birth, and the user will not have to retype it again. Last wrinkle here. Let's say that the user submitted an incorrect date of birth but not only an incorrect date of birth, but an empty date of birth. Huh? Not just date of birth that's just invalid, but just an empty. So in this case, we're going to say if dob row equal, or we can do, for example, length equals equals zero. Uh, let's see what he wants. Oh, sorry, dob row is zero then let's do request set attribute dob an empty string so with date of birth it's it's a little bit more complicated user submits a correct date of birth great we put the date of birth that the user submitted on the request just in case the first name or the last name are incorrect but let's say the user submitted an invalid date of birth, but still not an empty one, just some invalid, some invalid date of birth. Well, so we set the date of birth on the request so that the user will not have to type it again from scratch. We just have to uh, just make some change to what he typed, what he or she typed. But if the user actually submitted an empty date of birth, well then, so we won't get a null value for the date of birth we set the attribute to an empty string so that when we get back to the get back to the 
form page with the errors, we will get we will not get an we will not get a null for the date of birth field, but we will see just an empty string. So so that if the length if the user submitted an empty one, we set the date of birth to an empty string. So we will get back when we go back to the error page to the form error page, we will see an empty string for the date of birth field. Very well. Um, there we go. We got everything. And we're ready to test this one more time. I'm going to publish it. How are we doing? Uh, a lot of time. Okay. Add passenger. Empty. Good. Preserved. Preserved. In invalid. Preserved. Um, let's say remove this. Let's make this valid. Let's make this valid. Preserve. You see. So it keeps preserving. And let's make everything valid. There we go. We got to the now. If everything is valid, we're going to the passenger. Passenger has been added to the list page. Very well. All right. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. And uh, in you know we we sort of finished with this form. And in the next two lectures, in the next lessons, we will continue building the application, and we'll learn about expression language, JSTL, and many other things in Servlet and JSP. Thank you very much.